So we got our board here. Danny's just tracing the uh, stencils that from when we took the paneling off, we just kept the stencils and now we're just tracing them on. You can see the other ones there. I'll show you how it turns out. All right, how do you think it went? I think it fits. Looks great. So, how did you get such a nice cut? Well, I got some old newspapers and I taped them together. All so it was like a square and then I just cut along these edges here. I'll just do it right here. Let's give it a fight. I just, it was all taped like this, and I just cut like this, and you can kind of cheat and look where you want your scissors to go, so it gets pretty easy. Then you just cut along the edge. The new project here is getting me some wood on this piece so we did that oh, you can see that so now we cut these out so now we're trying to figure out this so we made a stencil of it and then we're thinking uh, putting some boards kind of in here to attach the wood on here because there's really nothing to attach to. So I've attached my wood pieces and the idea is we'll just put six screws on that and hold it in. Show you how it turns out. <music> back door on so you can see how I remember how I did this panel seemed to work pretty good show you some of the cuts I just put these in with my self tappers here there seems there's a good nice edge on all these the top ended up being the most difficult also got this done yesterday. Today's project is the ceiling. We got these pine eight foot pieces here. And then we also mixed it in with some cedar and some other stuff. But we're gonna try to do like a mix, mix eclectic type ceiling so let's check it out so we also got this weathered wood and some of this cedar city for a day. Just kidding. <laughs> so um, we're attaching the walls. We've been using this nail gun 
And then uh, Danny's gonna grab the nails. I'm gonna use these guys. It doesn't even say anymore. I lost the thing. Oh well. I didn't see him. Danny is installing the peel and stick floor. It's actually very easy. You just lay the first few down with a straight edge. And then from there you just kind of peel and stick them on. I'll show you how we cut them. And then the... So we score it first with the uh, straight edge on there, just with the Leatherman. And then... You oh, just kinda, it even you just, just bend broke. It. Yeah, nice. backsplash uh, that we picked out and basically what we did is we put like an adhesive and then for the grout um, because there's so much flex like the heat fluctuates a lot in here and you're kind of moving a lot so we used a flex grout um, just like a concrete color in between to match the concrete tops um, yeah, we really are happy with how it turned out. It was really easy. It looks really complicated. Um, but it comes in like one of those net things, like a one by w one foot by one foot net. Um, the only thing is, is you have to cut down the side with a diamond blade. Um, and I did see at Lowe's after I had someone help me do this. Um, it's really easy though. Uh, you just need a diamond blade. But at Lowe's they have a tile cutter there if you want if you have all your cuts marked and everything they can cut it for you at some lows we also added this piece of wood here um to because we don't have the windows so we're gonna paint this and then we're going to put a uh, a picture an image on this window so it's kind of like we all have a view out the window. Well, we've finished the last of the walls. We just put a sticker um, photo basically on it. From Easy Walls. From Easy Walls. Out of Canada. There'll be a link. It looks really nice. Since we don't have any windows, it almost. Yeah, it's super high definition. Yeah, it looks. We were kind of scared that it would be really digital. Because the curtain is kind of. Pixelated. Yeah, and that one was from Society Six. So. We went it's with still all right though, but the wallpaper turned out nice. And then we have one more wallpaper coming for that. Coming yeah. from Etsy. So, and we'll Czech Republic. Then we'll be so close. So, these are the um, walls that we had got, went with here. It's actually just a masonite. masonite board that has like a gray, I don't even know, like barnyard barnyard looks stamped finish on it it's very similar to the brick the bricks the same way it's just a uh, masonite as well we got them both at Lowe's and we have the links and description in the bio in the uh, write-up as well or whatever and we used also this is a same type of deal it's much cheaper it's just a it's probably like eight bucks mm -hmm. no 20 bucks i don't remember but we used we had enough to use do the ottoman this and the side with that 
And other than that, for ceiling and walls, we use the same masonite type material here. This is the easy wall stick on. The ceiling, you know, it's cedar it's and pine. We painted this pine with a stain, a cool like gray stain. We bought this wood like this. I think the whole roof was around 90 bucks to do it. So that's basically the ceiling, the finished ceilings, walls, the floor. Um, it that's was like 40 bucks. For the floor is very cheap. We still have, and we have extra, so if anything pops up, we can fix it. And the floor was a, it was called Safari, I believe. Mm -hmm. We'll have that in the thing, but it come, it looks really nice. It looks almost like, it looks Everyone real. Everyone always touches it. Everyone's always interested in the floor. Um, as also, Danny did this, uh, mural here with the leftover ceiling parts so that was cool just a little bit of scrap wood we didn't know what to do with that there so it's a nice little bonus but yeah this is the finished product here um it took us a while to put this video up because we waited so long for this and this was like the final chapter of it so let us know what you think